Question number nine, Dr. Jan Yang. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Science and Innovation. What research is the government undertaking to strengthen the forestry sector? Oh, yeah. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Speaker, yesterday I announced that the government will invest $5 million over seven years in a $10 million research partnership to help increase the competitiveness of the forestry sector. This research will focus on developing a broader range of high-value, better-performing wood products from tree species such as eucalyptus, Douglas fir and cypresses that provide an alternative to our predominant tree species radiated pine. The new partnership is led by Future Forest Research, an industry-operated entity in collaboration with Scion, the University of Canterbury and the New Zealand Drylands Forest Initiative and will operate on a dollar-for-dollar -dollar basis matched by the industry. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Jen Yang. Why is the government investing more in forestry sector research and development? Oh, Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, this investment aims to strengthen the ties between research organisations and the industry, building on our existing forestry strength and moving up the value chain by developing high-value specialty wood products while retaining a strong focus on sustainability. It complements other research work we're supporting in the forestry sector. Mr Speaker, you'd think they'd ask a question rather than just talk all afternoon. The Primary Growth Partnership Project on Steep Land Harvesting, designed to increase the safety of forestry workers on steep and sloping land while reducing the cost of harvest by 25%. Forestry is New Zealand's third largest export earner, behind dairy and meat, contributes around $5 billion to our exports, and we're committed to growing that further with investments such as this. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Is he aware that since his party has been in government, the volume of logs exported without a cent of value being added has gone from 6 million cubic metres, or 30 per cent of all logs cut, to 17 million cubic metres, or 56 per cent of all logs cut, and how will this initiative come even close to addressing this disparity? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, the number of logs cut has grown dramatically over that period, and the amount that's processed here is approximately the same. Order. Mr Speaker, do they want an answer to the question they Order. asked for? Would the member, Minister give his answer? Mr Speaker, the, point, the good news for the member uh, in this subject is actually there's significant investment going on in the wood processing sector as we speak. OG, for example, that lives just up the road from his city, have made a big investment in forestry in Hawke's Bay and have made a billion dollar investment around the country with the purchase of the Carter Holt Harvey assets. In Taupo, order, Pacific... Order, point of order, Stuart Nett. Uh, Mr Speaker, I tried to direct this question towards the primary question and asked how the, in, uh, the initiative that the Minister answered was going to increase, um, was going to reduce that disparity. Order. Order. And if you, if you chose some Order. courtesy, no, I don't, don't need assistance. If you chose some courtesy to allow the Minister to finish his answer and if he could ask for a bit of courtesy from his own benchmates to us so we can hear the answer, I think you'll get the answer. Honourable Stephen Joyce. So, Mr Speaker. The point I was making is there is good news for the member in this regard. There's significant investment in the processing sector, such as by OG that I mentioned. Also in Rotorua, Red Stag are constructing a big super mill there, which will be the largest in the southern hemisphere, And in Ta despite the fact they didn't get Labor's policy. And in Taupo Pacific, TNR are building a new high-tech processing plant. And research initiatives such as these being done in partnership with the sector will help the forestry Order. sector develop further. Order. Point of order, Stuart Nash. I mean, it, well, the Minister's information is most interesting, but Mr Speaker, the, the initiative... Order. No, no. Member Sorry. will resume his seat straight away. There is no doubt in my mind that question was addressed. Question number 10, the Honourable...